In this question, we're told that at the end of 2017, the value of Tamara's house was £220,000, and the value of Raheem's house at the end of 2017 was £160,000. We're then told that at the end of 2019, the value of Tamara's house had decreased by 20%, and we're also told that the value of Raheem's house had increased by 30%. We need to find out whose house had the greater value at the end of 2019. We can start by deciphering what it means for the value to decrease by 20% and to increase by 30%. The original value of anything will always be equal to 100%. And so if something decreases by 20%, we'd be taking 20% away from the original value. And so a decrease of 20% would be equivalent to 100% take away 20%, which is equal to 80%. And so if something decreases by 20%, we want to find 80% of the original value. And we know that to find 80%, we multiply by 0 0.8. And so we can therefore say that to find the value of tomorrow's house, which had decreased by 20%, we'd have to multiply the original value by 0 0.8. Well, now let's consider what it means for the value to increase by 30%. We have the original value of 100%, and we have an increase of 30%. And so we'd be finding 100% plus 30%. Now in terms of a multiplier, 100% can be written as 1, and 30% can be written as 0 0.3. And so we'd be finding 1 plus 0 0.3, which is equal to 1.3. And so to find an increase of 30%, we'd multiply the original value by 1.3. Now we can find out the value of both of their houses at the end of 2019. We'll start with finding the value of Tamara's house. We know that her house was worth £220,000 at the end of 2017. By 2019, this had decreased by 20%. And so to find the value in 2019, we'd do £220,000 multiplied by 0 0.8, which is equal to £176,000. Now we can find out how much Raheem's house was worth at the end of 2019. At the end of 2017, Raheem's house was worth £160,000. By 2019, this had increased by 30%, and so we'd do £160,000 multiplied by 1.3, which is equal to £208,000. We need to find out whose house had the greater value at the end of 2019. We know that Tamara's house was worth £176,000 at the end of 2019, and Raheem's house was worth £208,000 by the end of 2019. And since £208,000 is greater than £176,000, we can say that Raheem's house was worth more at the end of 2019. Now this question was worth 4 marks. We get the first mark for identifying that in order to represent a decrease by 20%, we'd multiply by 0 0.8, and in order to represent an increase of 30%, we'd multiply by 1.3. We get the second mark for finding out how much Tamara's house was worth at the end of 2019. We get the third mark for finding out how much Raheem's house was worth at the end of 2019. And we get the fourth and final mark for concluding that £208,000 is greater than £176,000 and so Raheem's house was worth more at the end of 2019. Allowing us to get the full four marks needed in this question.